Hey guys, it's Trace. Thanks for watching D News. I am here at the World Science Festival in New York City and surrounded by science lovers. Seriously, look at all these tents. There are people everywhere. We're learning about weather, we're learning about space, we're learning about robots. And I'm excited to get down there, so let's go. So what do we got here? So this is a graph. And uh, you guys might have seen this in physics class before. Uh, we have a velvet belt, sort of, and there's like a brush underneath. And when you turn it on, the belt keeps turning, and that creates static electricity. All that electricity and all the electrons that come up to the top here, and then when you have your hand on it, the electrons transfer from here into your body. Can I, can I try this? Can I make my hair stand up? I've never done one of these before. Can I look shocked? Yes. Yeah. So I'm here with Bobak Ferdosi from NASA JPL. Bobak, how's the fair? How are you enjoying yourself? I'm having a great time. I mean, this is a really fun event. There's a lot of people out here, a lot of kids out here, which is always kind of yeah. the coolest thing. And I do feel like they ask the really tough questions. I have seen some of the ro the robotic stuff, which is always cool for me. I always like I'm I'm a big fan. Uh, plus, I just kind of want to walk around like Ripley and aliens one day. So that's my my dream. So when you were a kid, were you, you were really into science? I take it. I had this curiosity about the world and just like how do things work, and I wanted to understand that and. Uh, I think that kind of takes you naturally down some of the science paths. I love physics. I mean, that's my still my favorite subject. What are we looking at here? You're looking at a replica of the Curiosity Mars rover that was built for the New York Hall of Science by two teenage sisters. So what do we what do we do if we're at the museum and we want to play with this guy? Um, we have a computer interface that you can actually drive it, and the mission is to look for a heat source. And um, if heat usually indicates a source of life. So if you find the heat source and you complete the mission, there's an extra surprise for you. But I, w I won't say any more than that. Oh, it's a secret. <laughs> what are we looking at here? Today we're teaching the kids about weather, how to predict weather. And then we also are showing them uh, the Coriolis effect okay. of the Earth. What is the Coriolis effect? So it has to do with the, how the Earth spins and why, uh, for example, a hurricane spins in a certain direction in the northern hemisphere compared to the southern hemisphere. So they spin in different directions. Does that, I've always heard about like toilet water, does that work the <laughs> same way? <laughs> That's, yeah. That's actually false. I think toilet water has its own <laughs> dynamics associated yeah. with that. Can you explain to us what is this giant wet mess here? This uh, is a river simulator. When we teach usually middle school, high school, and college students uh, how river systems work, sometimes we introduce food coloring to be representing contaminants. We'll have to try and contain or remove contaminants. They're seeing a lot of uh, basically hydrology, even though they don't realize it. Yeah. Basically how water works. So that's it for us here at the World Science Festival. We saw a lot of really awesome stuff. So let us know what was your favorite thing and tell us what got you interested in science in the comments down below. Make sure you subscribe and thanks for watching D News. See ya.